Hello Travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're here in Paris and today we're going to talk about our reasons why tourists get robbed when they travel and we're here on a dark and stormy day here in Paris and I think that's a good time to talk about some of the dark and stormy parts of your travels because there are times when you do get robbed, it does happen, it doesn't always happen but it's important for you to know the situations and the reasons why so you can be prepared for that and honestly one of the biggest reasons why you get robbed as a tourist is because you're a tourist and you look the part. That's why it's very important that you prepare yourself before you go. What should I wear? Where should I go? Where should I not go? What are the sites? When do I go out? When do I not go out? The more you prepare yourself, the less uncomfortable you fear and the less uncomfortable you look when you walk around. Because if you look like a tourist, and you've got your guidebook like this, you look at your guidebook and the site, you're not paying attention to your surroundings, okay? So, so just be aware of that. Because the thing is, it's not just your clothes that give you away as a tourist, it's how you act and how you go around, all right? Now, another reason why you might get robbed when you travel is you're showing the bling. You know, you got your rings and your bracelets and your earrings and your bracelets and your necklaces and lots of bracelets apparently, but also, you're showing your cash. When you're going to the ATM, you're taking out a lot of money or you're paying with cash, you're showing those things. People notice those things. Here in Paris, whenever you take out my money by the ATM, you'll see there's probably somebody begging near that ATM and they're seeing what you're taking out. So just make sure you're not drawing attention to yourself to be like, hey, look at me, I have money, I, you should rob me. Because honestly, there's some place in the world you really don't dress up. You really don't dress nice and, and show the bling and the rings and stuff like that because it does attract people to rob you, okay? Now, another thing I think is important for all tourists to remember is this, and this is the reason why people get robbed. Well, you think the magic fanny pack of travelers will protect you from anything bad happening. I can't tell you how many people I've talked to over the years that have been really upset. My vacation was ruined because my car got broken into or my wallet got stolen. I'm like, well, those things happen at home too, don't they? Well, yes, I'm like, yeah, I mean, crime happens where I live just like it happens here in Paris. And people think just because they're on vacation, nothing bad will happen. Look, going back to that first one, you do have to prepare. You do have to do the basic common stuff. My wallet, notice it's not in my back pocket, it's in my front pocket. My mom has the money but when she's here because she realizes, look, I'm a tourist, these things happen and I'm not just protected because I'm on vacation. And I think that's one of the reasons why when people do get robbed or they do get pickpocketed when they travel, they get even more upset because they expect it to be a relaxing vacation and obviously when you get pickpocketed or robbed, it, it is not a relaxing thing. So be aware of that. The magic fanny pack does not protect you from bad things happening when you travel. Now, the next thing I think is important to realize the reason why you were robbed is your age. Either you're old or you're young, or you have young ones with you. Because if you're old, they see, oh, you're old, you're not gonna chase after us, or you're not gonna speak the language when you're in another country, right? So they're easy pickings. My parents have been robbed before. A guy is like, oh, you have some mustard on your shoulder, and they helped it off. My mom put her bag down. I wasn't there for this. I warned her, it was in Barcelona. I said, don't trust anyone put it down, he helped her get the mustard off, they walked away, her bag was gone. Okay, old people are targets. Also young people, little kids and, and teenagers are easy because they're not paying attention. That's one thing I always wanna say is don't give your little kid the expensive camera because the camera is the target and if your little kid has it, they're relatively easy to rob from. That's why it's called taking candy from a baby. So do be aware of that. And the thing is, if you're traveling with your little ones, you're watching your little ones and not your gear. Jocelyn, she had her wallet stolen from Liam's baby bag, like where the dirty diapers go. She had her wallet in there and they stole her wallet out of the diaper bag, okay? So just realize your age, that will be something that will influence it as well. Now, another thing that might draw attention and get people to notice you that they might rob you is if you're loud when you're out and about, if you're drawing attention to yourself by being loud. I know Jocelyn talks about the girl here. We came to Paris many years ago and she's on the, she's on the Metro and she's like, I can't believe I'm drinking French champagne in Paris. I mean, it was like so loud. I'm like, I wanna rob you just to shut you up. And one of the things, if you're loud and obnoxious as a tourist, no one's gonna feel sorry for you when something bad does happen to you. So just remember that and remember your manners because then people are like, hey, hey, leave that person alone. Because I've seen locals stop people robbing other people because the person was not being an annoying tourist. So just have a heads up for that. Now, another reason why you might get robbed is you have too much luggage. And the thing is, sometimes you have so much luggage, you don't realize when a piece disappears. This is one of those taxi things when a bag is forgotten in the taxi, right? These things do happen. And sometimes it's an accident, but sometimes it's not. When you have too much luggage, you're too busy trying to hold it all, 
you're not gonna be able to run after them if they take a bag or they take a wallet or take a small bag because you got all your other stuff and you're not gonna leave it behind. So that's why we always recommend travel light. We will go for nine weeks at a time and I will have a carry-on bag and my backpack with my camera stuff and that's it. Okay, you don't need to take the kitchen seat with you. You don't need 20 pairs of shoes, okay? Just 10, all right? But realize that the more luggage you have, the more you gotta watch out for, there's more things that can get stolen and it's, it is an issue. And that is one of the things I want you to know. Now, another reason why you might get robbed when you travel is you don't protect your important stuff, right? I mean, you just carry your passport in your back pocket or your wallet in your back pocket, easy picking points. You don't use the hotel safe for your cash and for your passport when you're going out. You don't back up your documents like these things, because once they get lost, they're hard to replace, okay? So that's why it's important. Have a scanned version of your passport in your phone or, or also have it in your you know Google Drives or email it to yourself. Same thing with your plane tickets. If you don't have your, you know, have your codes, have those things ready just in case you need to get it if they do get Get taken. Also, if you have medicine, this is things you travel in the US, one of the biggest things that happen is you get your medicine stolen in the hotel. So make sure you do use that lockbox, okay? Or safe to keep your stuff safe, okay? Because a lot of people, again, it kind of goes that magic fanny pack and nothing's gonna happen. No, you need to protect yourself all the time. Whether you're in the hotel room with your stuff or you're not with your stuff, it needs to be locked away and put away. And that whole not protecting yourself. Another big one I do see is you leave your phone just laying on the table. I mean, I will see people, sometimes they'll put it in their jacket pocket and then put their jacket on the back of their coat. That's easy pickings right there. Or they're out, like here in Paris, I've seen it a lot. People are sitting at the tables outside, they have their phone sitting there. They're not thinking, they're talking to their friends. Someone walks by, boom, their phone is gone. That goes to that whole idea of not protecting your important stuff. So remember that with your phone, don't just leave it out. Same thing with your wallet, don't leave it. I mean, so if you get that big full wallet that you know some people joke about that dads have, Get rid of all that stuff before you go. Keep it small so you can keep it in your front pocket so it's not uncomfortable to sit on. Now, the eighth reason why you got robbed is you're gullible. You're naive. You think everyone is here to help you. You really want to help them. Yes, I will sign that petition to, to protect the world and, and to make nuclear bombs illegal here in France. Look, you got to be careful with the people you meet when you travel. Now, I'll be honest. When I travel around the world, I've met wonderful people everywhere but you gotta at least be realistic when you meet people here in france if someone comes up and tries to give you a free flower or a free bracelet it's not free they're gonna want something right or if they come up to have you sign a petition look they're not there for petitions they're sizing you up letting them know if like what could i get from this person or maybe they are getting something from you and you don't even realize it look you can't be gullible if something happens so a bird poops on you or the mustard gets on you like how they got my mom she was gullible it's like oh that's a really nice person that's helping me out don't be that way you got to be like on your on your nose you know like paying attention when these things are happening because yes there's a lot of really helpful people but sometimes there's people that use people's naivete and gullibleness to help them to your stuff. And you don't want that when you're traveling. Now, the ninth reason you got robbed when you travel is you're an American or you're Asian. And the reason why I say that is because there's two things that American and Asian tourists have in common. One, they usually like cash and cash is great because if someone does take your wallet, once you notice it's missing, backtrack where you went and look in the garbage cans because they're probably not gonna use your credit card and your license, but they will take that cash. OK, and they know with Americans and Asians, they have a lot of cash on them. So they're, hey, if we pickpocket them, we rob them. We're probably going to get more cash and stuff we could use than if we rob somebody else. Also, in general, Asians and Americans tend not to speak all the foreign languages of all the different countries they go to. Therefore, it's harder for them to yell help or get the police. And by the time somebody realizes something's going on, boom, the thieves are gone. OK, so I just want to give a heads up for that. I've actually seen that with my students when I brought them to Europe. So just be ready. Now, the 10th reason why you might get robbed when you travel is you're impaired. Whether you've drank too much or you've taken too much of something, when you're doing that, you're making bad decisions, but also your reflexes are slower, your decision-making is worse, and that's where it's easier to rob people. I have seen a lot of drunk travelers or hungover travelers the next day at hostels all over Europe, actually all over the world, missing a wallet, missing a phone, did they lose it or did somebody take it? I've seen people that got beat up because they were drunk and they lost their passport that way. My buddy Steve, when we were in St. Petersburg, that happened to him. So, you know, just be smart. If you're going to be out drinking with your buddies, don't stay out too late. 
or make sure you're going with your buddies, not going out alone, okay? So be careful with that. And that leads me into the 11th thing. And, and you see my tears going because the 11th reason why you got robbed is something there's nothing we can do about. It's just bad luck. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. I lived in Lisbon. This is like this, one of the safest capitals in Europe. Guys tried to rob me on the Metro because I got at the wrong spot. These things happen. You're going up the escalator and you forget to zip your bag. Someone goes in and takes it. Just, just bad luck happens. Don't let getting robbed ruin your trip. Yes, it's gonna upset you. Yes, it's gonna suck, but don't let it ruin your experience. Don't let it ruin your time. Enjoy what you can because hey, you know what? They took your credit cards, you can get your credit cards back. They take your passport, you can get a passport back. You can replace those things. You can't replace yourself and you can't replace your memories. So let yourself still enjoy your trip, even if some cruddy things do happen like getting robbed. And I'll be honest, I've been doing this traveling thing for a long, 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 long time. And the only thing I've ever had stolen for me is an umbrella. Okay, so just be aware of that because it does happen. Liam, well, Jocelyn got robbed of, of Liam's, you know, her, her wallet from her diaper bag when she was with Liam. My mom's had her thing happen to her. My dad's people try to pickpocket him a number of times too because he was older and on public transportation. So do be careful with that, all right? So if you wanna learn more about safety when you travel, we have a video on just general safety advice for travelers. We also have a video on the most popular places for people to get robbed when they do travel. Yeah. Tourist sites and public transportation always have your head on the swivel and pay attention to those places because those are the two biggest ones. But they're all linked down below if you want to have more stuff. Safety advice for here in Paris or tourist traps and scams all over Europe. Check us out on our website at waltersworld.com or go below. We'll have more videos down below to help out. And I want to say a special thank you to all our members on YouTube and patrons on Patreon who make help us make honest travel videos like this. I just want to say thank you. You all are amazing. And I'll say au revoir from here in Paris. And let's hope that nobody gets robbed on this trip. Bye.